Hey guys, Tacoma guy here. This video is going to be on the fourth gen Tacoma. I don't know if you know this, but there is a new Tacoma on the way. We know nothing about it yet. Uh, probably a 2022. Uh, it's not going to be a 20. People have thought that. I've seen things on that. Obviously, that's not happening. It's not going to be a 21. But there's a new 4Runner and a new Tacoma on the way. Uh, so I figured I'd just do a quick video on some things that I expect or I would look for for them to do because really from the third gen uh, other than the one glaring thing <laughs> that people complain about performance uh, there's not really a whole lot to do but there are some things that if you're gonna do a new truck that uh, here's some of the things I'm looking for from selling Toyotas owning Toyotas having forerunners and Tacomas some of the things I'd be looking for uh, for the off-road community All right get my I get my list Let's get my list. All right, the first thing I'd be looking for if they do a new Tacoma is keep some of what you already have, okay? Let's not get crazy. The one thing I like about the Toyotas in a Tacoma is the off-road capability. Uh, these trucks have excellent ground clearance. It's really nice when you can park next to a six-inch lifted truck and yeah, that thing's huge and sits up super high, but guess what? We have even better ground clearance than that big, huge lifted truck. It's insane. Toyota does a good job. Um, that's what I would ask. Keep that gas tank tucked up. On the Forerunner and FJ, that gas tank kind of kind of came down, so that's going to affect some stuff. Okay, it's not optimal. Uh, uh, higher than the frame rails, I'll sacrifice some legroom for that because I want the off-road capability. Hard to get away from that rear axle. That's kind of like the downturn. But maintain what you do have, okay? Don't get rid of uh, what makes these trucks great. That's the off-road capability. The next thing would be size. Uh, that's probably one of the hugest complaints, especially from domestic buyers, this truck's small. It is a little small, okay? Uh, part of that has to do with the off-road capability. You have to squeeze this truck down a trail, okay? Can't be too wide. I would say it could be a little bit wider, okay? Um, it's not bad inside. The rear, you know, could you go slightly bigger in the back, you know, so you can fit a child seat? You could come up with maybe, I don't want to make the truck any bigger, but, you know, an inch of interior space in the back would make a huge difference okay even just an inch just a little bit wider so you can fit child, children's seats back here without it hitting because it's really tight right I don't even know if you can put one for the infant seat backwards I don't even know if they really fit in here good um, so it could be slightly bigger and I would say slightly wider when you're on the trail it's nice having that narrow truck so you can squeeze down the trails I think it could be slightly wider. Even an inch wider on the inside would be huge. Um, honestly, when I went from my 4Runner to the Tacoma, I was surprised how narrow it was, uh, especially for towing. I could not even see past my trailer, and you could definitely feel it when you're towing. That trailer's in the wind, okay? My 4Runner shielded that trailer quite a bit. And I know I got way better mileage towing in my 4Runner than my Tacoma, a lot better. In fact, my 4Runner got much better gas mileage overall. I had two of them, uh, fourth generation 4Runners. So it's, the narrowness is nice, but ultimately this truck could be just a slightly wider. Um, and in fact, I wouldn't mind if it was the 4Runner and the Tacoma were the same size. Okay, one with... Uh, with, with the bed, the truck, like a truck version, and then one would be the SUV version. I don't have a problem with that. If it's a couple inches wider, that's gonna give you some advantages in towing, um, more interior space, and plus, with the Tacoma, I mean, your bed's small. Two more inches, an inch or two wider, would not hurt at all, because that bed's pretty small. So you could go a little bit wider, uh, would definitely help. 
So we got off-road capability. We got the size just slightly, just slightly wider, just slightly. All right. Next, let's talk talk about the engine. Uh, basically, with the Toyota, we have to do something with the performance. Um, come on, Toyota, help us out. They've got great off-road capability, excellent reliability, durability. This truck's 90,000 miles. It's not, I mean, for 90,000 miles, 10 years old, this is in decent, it's in great shape. It's in great shape. I never buffed this truck. I buffed this truck out. It's going to look like brand new. And it's been down the trails. I don't know if you can see that. There's a little mark. <laughs> There's a couple little marks on it, but it's silver. You don't see it as much. But if I buffed it out, uh, it would look great. Uh, this 4 liter was class leading power. When the Tundra came out, that 5.7 was class leading power. The Dodge Ram still only has the same power as the Tundra now. It's been how many years? 15 years? 12 years? Uh, we need something like that again. I know Toyota can do it. I was really disappointed when they put the 3.5 in there. I knew exactly how that engine was going to be because those 3.5s don't have the torque. They just they just don't, guys. Um, unless you're going to match that. I mean, Chevy knew they went right to the 8-speed transmission right away, and that car, that truck doesn't run bad with the 3.5. They've got 300 horsepower. You know, we're at the 378 at, at 5 and 6,000 RPM. That 3.5 is excellent. It, it, it's not bad, but at below 3,000 it's weak and we all know that and that's what stock tires now you go to bigger tires you put some armor on you put your cage on there you put your tent if you start putting stuff on these trucks man you need some torque okay so that's what we need Toyota some torque I vote to go back to the 4 liter simple solution but because of government uh, we can't have that okay that's not gonna happen but basically, they were both the same size bore, but just 4 liter had the, a square bore and stroke. Now, 3.5 has a short stroke, which means that horsepower builds at higher RPM. So, I've been <laughs> battled for truck engine and car engine. Car engines have short strokes, truck engines have longer strokes, because longer strokes build more torque. That's the difference. The engines basically themselves are basically the same. You have special cams to match the torque. I don't have to get into it with the people who don't know anything about engines, but uh, we need a dedicated truck engine. We know Toyota's going to turbos. It sounds like the V8s are gone, even in the Tundra, and they're going to the twin turbos. And that would be awesome if we could have a twin turbo version in this. Does it need 400 horsepower? No. Does it need 300 horsepower and 300 foot-pounds of torque? Yes, it does, Toyota. That's what we're looking for. We don't need tons more power. 300 would be good, but the torque, being able to, when you do pull a trailer, it doesn't need to be rated for 10,000 pounds. The 5,000 pound rating is fine, but it needs to be able to pull that 5,000 pounds like nobody's business. So you can pull it at two, 3,000 RPM like a truck, not at 5,000 RPM like the 3.5. That's crazy. It'll pull, but you want to run your engine that high on 20 weight oil? I'm telling you you can run that 20 weight oil for 10,000 miles and you're going to run your, you're going to be towing at 5,000 RPM for five hours? Are you insane? Uh, doesn't make sense. That does not make sense. Okay, from someone who knows about engines. So we need more power. Uh, another way around it would be, we're stuck with the 3.5 to give it a little bit of boost and give us some tuning capability. Make it easier to aftermarket this vehicle. That would be one of the things I would like to see too. And Toyota gets it. Toyota knows what I'm talking about. With this car right here was the start of Toyota's modern tuning. The FRS, the 86, the BRZ. This was the platform. This is the base. And then you did your modifications to it. Now on this one, I used a Subaru ECU. So now you can get aftermarket tuning. And this car has tons of aftermarket support. Everybody loves it. It's a great car. They've done the same thing with the Supra. The Supra's taking over the same thing. Here's your base, here's your car. You get 350 horsepower, everybody's complaining. Guess what, a couple tunes later, you're at 600, 800,000 horsepower. Uh, and the aftermarket is also going crazy on that car. So Toyota knows what I'm talking about. Do that to this. Build your truck, build your base truck. You don't have to go crazy. 
you have to give us the platform to build off of. If you're gonna use that 3.5, then put a little more oomph into it and detune it with the software and allow us to uncap the power with tuning. Allow us to uncap the power with better exhaust. Allow us to, you should probably have power modes. I don't know why Toyota doesn't have this. Just have a power selection mode. Have economy, right? Go to an economy mode, go to a normal mode, go to power, towing, whatever you want to call it mode. The truck, the, all, every car should have three modes. Every car. But with the, with the software nowadays, this is crazy that cars don't have this. So it took a little while, bit on the power, but that's the biggest problem we have is we went to that 3.5, we lost a lot of low end and picked up like one mile to the gallon. Now you can hyper mile that truck and it'll pick up mileage, but once you start putting big tires on and everything, it doesn't get any better mileage because it doesn't have the torque. You're in the throttle more. Okay, <laughs> that's, that's my power rant. That's going to take a long time. But if you had twin turbos on here, and like I said, and you had economy mode, now you're probably running that turbos at probably 5 pounds of boost, 8 pounds of boost. It builds, econ it builds power, but not that much. You backed off the throttle. And maybe we can get 20 miles, 20, 22 miles to the gallon with turbos. And then when you switch it to power mode, and now you have 300, 325 horsepower. Now you can tow, you can put on your big tires, you can do whatever you want with the flip of a switch. That's really the best solution is the twin turbo. I think Ford has proven that with the EcoBoost. These EcoBoost trucks are crazy fast. That I have a friend that 2.7, all he has is a air filter and a tune it probably runs so make 13 flats take this frs uh, model with the base seven twin turbo they give you prius we tires a similar engine like that and truck that would be phenomenal, phenomenal. and then you, you have an economy good mode. engine that builds Dials power you down but it only makes power less from the boost, factory less wear and tear on your engine you can save your engine and it'll last longer Oops. you're getting better mileage you're getting better from the factory and then when you're just you need doing that 300 with some of the other mods i'm doing that's 350 horsepower now you can almost that doubling the power now you can put the big tires on. Now you from can go up one that big hill. Well, a couple modifications, okay. but that's, you know what I'm saying. Long enough. Uh, it engine. doesn't take much. Uh, we don't have going, that. But that's something that's four very easy to now fix. Now we can finally tune it. Very, very Ten stubborn. years later, um, part of making this the base. Let's talk. Let's get back into that. So take this, build the good base, add that to this. That entails the engine. I talked about that. Not getting back into that. Tires. Tell you, we need to be able to fit 33-inch tires on these trucks. A 285 on both the 4Runner and Tacoma. These, the 285 should just fit right on with no trimming at all. Okay, you should be able to take that 285, even on the factory wheel, just put it on there and it should fit. Okay, that's what we need. One thing about being wider is this suspension can be wider. We need longer wheel travel. It gets the job done. But these trucks should probably come with, nowadays, by 10 inches of wheel travel from the factory um, and be able to go f longer than that. Uh, if that Ford, if that Ranger Raptor comes out, it's going to probably have 12 inches of travel. Having 8 inches of travel is a little weak nowadays. So we need to up the wheel travel. We need to up the clearance, okay? That means get rid of this frame, crazy frame thing move that somewhere else move it back like that's purposely angled forward you can see it get that back angle that away from the tire that's really the only that's the biggest limitation and in these little tiny wheel wells it's not designed for big tires design it for big tires we'll figure it out make that suspension wider longer travel well sorry hit that on that wheel travel wheel travel and then the brakes what is going on with these little brakes, Toyota? These rear drum brakes? Are you kidding me? The Tacoma doesn't stop good. It just doesn't. And the only people who will say it does is people who own Tacomas. Because if you own a 4Runner, you know this Tacoma does not stop good at all. Uh, what is that, 4Runner? three or 400 pounds heavier? It just stops like a car. It just stops. So we need bigger brakes. Don't have to get crazy. Uh, we still use 17 inch wheels. I don't think anyone, there's a few people using 16 inch wheels, but we don't really need them. It gives you a little more sidewall. Do we really need that? The good, as good as tires are today. So we need a little bit bigger brakes. Again, build this to the base. We need good brakes, ground clearance, wheel clearance, longer travel, things like that. 
better engine. The rust resistance. You can see what's happening. I just touched this up. You can see there's some. See that? That's my frame Toyota. And I baby this thing. Just keep thrusting. Remember that we have to maintain that. There's a lot of people in the north. That's what trucks are for. For winter. And for off-roading. So the rust corrode, the rust resistance. What I'm going to say for last is the styling. Um, I couldn't believe that there's people complaining about the interior of the third gen. That third gen interior is nice. It's very nice. In fact, Jeep copied it. <laughs> when I got inside the new Jeep, I'm like, is this a Toyota or a Jeep? Uh, so that's how good it is. That Jeep had to copy the Tacoma. The interior is pretty nice. The third gen is literally the same truck. The seats, everything. I, I, was, I almost was going to get one, but it felt exactly like my truck and it had less torque. So I'm like, why would I get this? Um, but that dash is nice on the new one. So interior still styling. Yeah, maintain the styling. Make it off-road capable. Again, we need switches. Leave blanks. Be nice if there was an extra panel for switches. See, I even have to have my light switches up here. Okay. Um, at least four blanks would be nice. Or a row of blanks or an area to put switches. Uh, that was thought into the truck. Again, build the base and then let us mod it out. Just leave a little area that's adaptable for our switches. So at least we're going to need like uh, lights, lockers, things like that. Uh, so back to the styling. The only thing on the third gen, like I like the styling of the third gen. I don't like that the front is bigger than the back. It's not proportionate. I, I don't really, you know, I, I don't, and honestly, I don't get, I don't get it. I thought, I don't really get it. See how this truck's so proportionate? The new one's not. The front looks great, and it'll look good at certain angles, but then as soon as you pull in the tail, the back, the bed, because they tapered that bed up, which is fine, they tapered the rear up, okay, for better ground clearance, that, that's fine. Um, but if you can maybe bulge, I don't know, do something where it just balances better. It looks weird from the back. And they went crazy at that big grill because they knew they had less power, less torque. Um, and then they had to stick that grill way out so you're losing uh, front ground clearance. So I don't even know if I can take that third gen to the dunes because I hit my bumper on the dunes with my lift. 33 inch tires and that that third gen that front end is lower and sticks out more so i probably would rip my whole bumper right off if i had a third gen so i don't even know if it'll go to the dunes that'd be that's another reason why i held off is you have to almost automatically get a front bumper as soon as you buy it i don't like that but that's some crash safety stuff supposedly but no other car does it except for toyota um that's it so the styling the styling wasn't bad just try to balance it out the rust rust resistance make the trucks resistant to rust build this as the base so we need things like longer wheel travel better brakes be able to fit larger tires better performance if you build this whole truck as the base you don't have to do it all just like you did on that car this car right here Everyone complained that the motor has crap, doesn't build any power, because it doesn't. Because they put these huge intake ports on it, so you can build 500 horsepower. But once you put a turbo on that car, <laughs> it's the best thing they ever made. Okay? So, yeah, get some griping new. But power-wise, the truck's a little different. You don't need to go that crazy. But just overall, that basic idea of building the base that is that we can adjust and modify. The size isn't bad slightly wider i would not want to go longer but if you have to go a little longer for some cab space an inch or two wouldn't be terrible but really just slightly wider would probably be good enough and then maintain the road the off-road capability so that's about it that's kind of what i'm looking for that's my ideas on the fourth gen tacoma and next gen forerunner would be the same thing kind of allow the same things they're both very similar vehicles all right, thanks. Subscribe, like, and share. Give me a thumbs up if you like this stuff. Let me know if there's any other content you want. 
this is my, <laughs> it's supposed to be just my ideas. Maybe it was a little bit of a rant. I don't know. But that's it. Thanks. Bye.